guys, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. I'm just gonna sit down on the floor real quick. So, in today's video, I need to tackle this situation <laughs> back here. This is where I keep all of, that is my craft. I can't point, it is my craft situation. This is my makeup situation. This is where I house all of my makeup for my clients, as well as like some of my own makeup. I have a desk behind y'all where I put like some of my palette tapes on myself. And then I also have my kit with all of my current makeup as well that I need to take out and sanitize. I just had a client the other day. I need to go through all this makeup and basically declutter it. I have a lot of makeup that I don't use anymore and I haven't used for years and I just haven't gotten rid of it. So I figured I would show you guys kind of like all the makeup that I got in there, what I'm keeping, what I'm getting rid of, and kind of just like what I'm using on myself and on my clients. So if you guys are into makeup, it's what I'm doing today. By the way, you guys might be able to hear like background noise and dogs barking because there are people that are, they're like digging holes in our neighborhood. I don't know if they're fixing like underground wires or whatnot, but they're currently behind our house digging holes. And so all the neighborhood dogs are outside barking and they just love Chancy Pants because he doesn't bark. He just sits there and watches them and they just give him scratches through the fence and he's just like chilling out there with them. And I was bringing him inside before this video and they were like, we love him so much. He doesn't bark and he's so sweet. Everybody loves chant, don't they, Bubba? Cupcakes? Thank you. Okay, you can go lay down now. Okay, let me just show you guys actually what is in like each drawer. So to start off, this is like where I put mainly all of my palettes for my clients. And there's definitely some palettes in here that I don't really use anymore. I have this like Morphe James Charles one that I used for like Halloween style makeup, this Morphe star one, this Morphe star, this Morphe X Jeffree star. I don't use this anymore. So I will probably get rid of this one. It might be expired too. This one I have like hardly ever touched and I've had this for years, so I know that this needs to go. And then this one I think I might keep. I just don't use it a whole lot, but those are majority of the palettes. I also have some palettes in there though that I'll pull out in a little bit. Here is a mess and I generally keep my lashes, which I'm pretty much out of. So I need to restock. And then this is also where I just put like setting sprays, kind of like loose stuff, under eye patches for my brides moisturizer which probably needs to go these definitely need to go and then some single eyeshadow glitter stuff this drawer is where i keep all my lip stuff it's empty because once again everything is in there for the most part this eyeshadow palette i don't really use a whole lot but i might keep this highlighter can go that palette i've only used i mainly use it for this hello can you see me <laughs> For this shadow right here, but this one right here is pretty much all I use it for because it has a really pretty like glitter topper. All right, this one is a Mod Podge of, once again, everything is empty in here, but this is where I usually put concealers and my eyebrow pencils, eyeliners, all that. And then just like old product, like this loose powder from e.l.f. I never used. It just like was just super chalky. Same with this loose powder and like blushes. This powder actually. This powder is actually really great. I just never ended up using it on my clients. I use it on myself a lot. I have one for myself. It's a different one, but I really love this stuff. It's a good setting powder, under eye powder. Eyeshadow, or no, I think this is a blush. Yeah, this is from Anastasia. And I've honestly never used this a whole lot either. It's hardly touched, but I'm pretty sure this is old. And then these two Milani blushes, I ended up not really liking. I prefer their baked blushes. I think they're a lot better. These ones were just kind of like me. Oh, I'll throw this over here. I put this over my ring light to kind of soften up the light. And then this bottom half is kind of more of makeup just for me. So under here, I have a lot of concealers, powders, blush, highlighters, and honestly, you guys, I've hardly used any of this. So I need to go through and just see if any of this is still good. I'm sure that these mascaras are dried up and need to go. So yeah, a lot of these concealers, I just haven't used. This concealer, this was from... Maybelline or no CoverGirl, they're clean fresh. I never ended up liking this concealer. This Honest blush, you guys, I really love the Honest Beauty cream blushes. I don't use this shade a whole lot. This was in the shade 
peony pink but i think i have another shade i think it's called rose pink over on my desk and i love that shade i used it all the time but i i didn't end up really liking this one but the formulation i really love if you like a cream blush maybelline fit me this is a really great loose powder that i used before i discovered the morphe translucent powder you guys oh my gosh this is so old tell me is this the champagne pop highlighter i think it is this is the becca and jaclyn hill champagne pop when she did her collection this was the blush and highlighter duo and i loved this so much you guys this is definitely expired it needs to go this was my ride or die for years and i definitely need to throw this away butter bronzer can't go wrong with that Ooh, maybelline age rewind concealer this maybelline age rewind concealer i haven't used it in a hot minute but you guys this stuff is so good if you need a good drugstore concealer down here we just have more lip stuff majority of this lipstick has got to go some of these lip pencils are still good and then these definitely gotta go these are so old and then lastly this is all of my foundation this is a mix of foundation that i use on myself and my clients i know for a fact these artistry foundations have got to go they are super old some of these foundations like the maybelline fit me these are still probably good but like these other ones this l'oreal infallible i bought a couple of these l'oreal infallibles when i was first starting out in my makeup artist journey because everyone said that it was so good but the formulation didn't work on my skin it slipped off my face it just would not stick to my skin i don't know if i was doing something wrong but i wanted to like this foundation so bad and i just couldn't get on the bandwagon that and it has i think an spf in it and with doing makeup on clients i don't like to use an spf just in case there's flashback so i never ended up using them but i really wanted to like them so bad i have the cc camo cc cream as gifted to me i never ended up using this because i mainly use cream foundation products right now so i don't use a whole lot of liquids but i do have like these CoverGirl foundations that i put in these little squeeze tubes if i just need to like size down some of my products because carrying all of these in like this for instance it can get very heavy glue for eyebrows don't, just don't ask <laughs> This is a skin mixer that is still good. If you ever need to lighten up some of your pigment, getting something like this is really helpful. So that's majority of what is back there. So I think what I'm gonna do now is go through all these drawers, clean them out, just look at all the expiration dates and toss everything that I don't need and then just kind of organize it, clean the drawers out, get everything nice and sanitized. And then I'll probably put my makeup that's in my kit back in there and i'll go ahead and like show you guys once i'm like done with the drawers what's in my kit and kind of like give maybe like a little up to date what's in my makeup kit freelance kit Okay, so we have reached the portion of my makeup. Can you see me? Hello. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go through this and just kind of maybe swatch some stuff or see if it's even good or check the packaging. A lot of times, if you guys didn't know, you can look and right here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it'll have a jar with like a month and that basically means that how, like whenever you open it up, that means how long this product is good for. So this says 24 months, so it's good for two years. I don't know how long I've had this though, but I also never used it. So I think I'm just gonna toss it. Same with this one. I have two different shades for generally like winter and summer. This, as I was saying earlier, definitely needs to go. I love this so much. I should purchase this actually for my makeup kit, but it needs to go. It is very, very old. I think I bought this when we were still living in Hawaii. So yeah, that's kind of gross. This Maybelline Fit Me is actually a pressed powder, but I would use it oftentimes for contour or bronzer because being so fair, it's hard to find something that's not super orange on you. And I felt like this is really good. And there's so many different shades. You can just kind of like pick whichever one, but this is definitely old as well. I don't see the little like label thingy on it that says how long it's good for, but I think it's safe to say that we should just throw this out. This is a Too Faced highlighter. I honestly never really used this very much. I just didn't like the shade. It's 
kind of more glittery and that's just not really my style. And this was only good for 18 months anyways. So this really needs to go. My butter bronzer, I think I'm gonna keep this cause I think it's still good. And I do like to use it every once in a while. So this Laura Geller is a highlighter. It is their baked gelato swirl illuminator in the shade peach glow. This is a really, really pretty shade. But once again, super old. I think I got it in like a boxy charm years ago and I just haven't used it. So this is from Ciate London. This is, I think it's a blush, am I correct? I don't know, it just says it's marbled light. It looks like it's a, like a baked blush, but I never really used this. This that I talked about earlier, the Honest Beauty Cream Blush. I love this stuff, but I just never use this shade. This is in the shade Peony Pink and I just never use this. Actually, let me grab the other one and show you guys. So this is the other blush that I use. This was in the shade Rose Pink and I love this one so much. It's such a pretty shade. It's a little bit deeper than the Peony one. So I'm gonna definitely keep this one. I really wanna keep this one as well, but I just never use it. But I don't wanna throw it away. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna hold on to it and probably never use it. Okay, so I'm gonna move you guys in just a little bit closer so you guys can see all of my concealers. I have a lot and I also don't use them really. This is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Hydrating Concealer. I love their Skin Milk Foundation, but I just never use this concealer. It's also super light coverage. So if you're looking for coverage, definitely don't use this. I used this like once and that was it. And that was a while ago and it's just not working out for me. These concealers too, the Maybelline, I think this is, is this from Maybelline, the Age Rewind? Yeah, Maybelline Age Rewind concealers, you guys, this stuff is so good, but this has just been sitting in here for a long time. I need to get some new ones, but this is probably some of my favorite concealer. That and the Maybelline Fit Me concealers are really great as well. So I would say either one of these are really great. They're just old, so they need to kind of get tossed out. And I honestly don't know when I opened them. So I think it's safe to say that I'm just gonna toss these just in case they are expired. I don't wanna give myself any skin irritations. Oh my gosh, this is so old. This is from Artistry. I haven't used this concealer in so long. I definitely know this is very, very much expired. So you gotta go. This is also another great concealer. This is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I know this was all the rage a while back. It's kind of like a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. I really, really enjoyed this. This is super, super full coverage though. So if you're really into that, I would recommend trying this. I just don't need it anymore and I haven't used it for a while. I know for a fact that these mascaras need to go as well. They're probably all dried up. These are just the L'Oreal Voluminous mascara. I have both of them in like brown and black because sometimes I wanted more of a natural shade. Sometimes I wanted more of a dark shade if I was wearing lashes, but I'm pretty sure these are all dried up and I'm use other ones too right now. This Studio Liquid Ink Liner, is this the one I'm thinking? Yeah, the Tattoo Studio from Maybelline. This is a horrible eyeliner. Don't use it, that's all I'm gonna say. CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. I loved this mascara for a long time. Cami Carter raved about it and so I tried it and I really did love it for a long time, but then I noticed it just kind of was like, kind of clumpy on my lashes. So after a while I just switched and started using something else, but this was a pretty good one for a while. This is just a NYX Wonder Pencil. I'm pretty sure it's expired. It's a nude eyeliner pencil. Old eyebrow pencil. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is a, is this a lip? Oh, it's a lip liner. Yeah, that's definitely old and dried up. Hopefully you guys can hear me all the way up there. I'm like super far down here in the mic. Hopefully it's picking up on what I'm saying. This is an old e.l.f. brow pencil that I really like, but it's old. And then I just realized I have one that I haven't even opened yet. So I'll go ahead and keep that in case I ever need another one. But this is what it looks like. All right, moving on to my lips, which I don't use, you guys, I don't use like hardly any of this stuff anymore. This is the Kypris Antioxidant. Ew, it's open. Oh, this is definitely, oh, gross. This is the Antioxidant Dew. I would use it as a primer often. I got it in my BoxyCharm, but that was like years ago. So I know this is definitely expired. These I got in my BoxyCharm as well. This was the Touch and Soul No Pore Blem Prime Essence. And then this was the Wander Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. Old, needs to go. Steve Laurent lip liner. Got that in the boxy charm, never used it. <laughs> I'm really weird about my lip colors. If they're just like not the right undertone for my lips, I will never wear it. This was the L'Oreal Color Riche lip liner in the shade 114 Matte Calling. 
I don't know why I didn't use it all up, but I know this is definitely old, but this seems like a pretty like brown shade. These are my favorite lip liners, to be honest. This and the Morphe lip liners are really great. So this is Maybelline's Color Sensational lip liners. I use them a lot. This is in the shade uh, 130 Dusty Rose. This is still pretty new actually, so I'm gonna keep this one. And then this is from Dirty Little Secrets in Rosy Posy. Super old, needs to go. All right, we are literally getting rid of everything. This is just a mod podge of everything from like lipsticks to lip glosses. So I'm just gonna start tossing stuff cause I know like 99% of this is super old, it needs to go. I just don't, I'm not a huge lip person anymore. I mean, I use lip product, but it's like lip gloss and a lip liner. It's nothing crazy anymore. Artistry needs to go. Anything artistry, I bought it when we moved from Hawaii, so I know it's definitely expired needs to go. I just kind of threw it in here and never looked at it again. So all of these lipsticks that are in the gold packaging are artistry and they need to go. They're just expired. I will say though that the packaging is very cool. You open it, it's like a little click thing, so you just kind of like, it's locked right now, so you can't open it, but then when you twist it, so you just like, click it and see how it pops out the bottom and then you just pull it out and then when you want to put it back in boom and it locks in there so i will say it's really cool packaging this dominique cosmetics lip gloss and it's like something lemonade i wore this a lot during the summer before last but this needs to go color pop liquid lips i think i got this in a boxy charm maybe this I got in a Christmas gift. This is ColourPop's Disney collection. This was from the Tiana collection, I think, from the Disney princesses. Really pretty, but I just never wore it because I never wore sparkly lips. ColourPop's, what is, was, I don't know what these are considered. Were they lipsticks when they came in this little tube? I don't know if they still do, but I love this formulation. And this shade, Grunge, man, oh man, when I first started doing makeup, this shade was everything to me. It was like the perfect deep red fall winter look. I don't know if they still sell that shade though. Okay, this is how old this makeup is. My fingers are getting like filmy and dusty. That's how much I never touch this stuff. This was also from the Disney collection from ColourPop. This was actual lipstick that came in the collection from Tiana. Really, really pretty deep red shade. Really, really pretty deep red shade. Dose of Colors makes really great liquid lips. Neutrogena Smooth Moisture Lip Color. I hated this as soon as I bought it. I don't know why I just didn't throw it out. But this is in the shade 100 Pink Nude and it just smelled kind of funny. Like, I don't know if I, yeah, ew. It smells like uh, synthetic, it smells like strawberries I wanna say, but it's like th synthetic chemical, kind of like that makeup you get as a kid, like that play makeup smell. It's just really gross. I was trying to get a dupe for the Clinique lippy stick or whatever, the, or the little lip crayons. This is kind of like the dupe only. It's not good. Just get the Clinique one. <laughs> this is in the shade Nude Fury. I use this a lot on my clients. I have one separately. But this is a really pretty brown shade and I don't think it's too old. So I think I, I'm gonna keep this one. This is from MAC from one of their holiday collections. And it's bright orange. Yeah, definitely never wearing that one. <laughs> if you guys haven't tried NYX's butter glosses, I would highly recommend them. They're, they've been around forever, but they're so good. This is in the shade Creme Brulee. Pretty sure this is old and needs to be thrown out. This is 18 months, so yeah, this needs to go, but this is a really, really pretty shade. Wow, was I right or was I right? Like 99% of the stuff needed to go. All right, we're just gonna, oh my gosh, do you guys see all of my lip products over here? This is so bad. Okay, we're gonna zoom you in though for the foundation portion of this video. This is gonna be pretty easy too. I'm just gonna literally, I should just like take this out and just dump it. But all of these artistry foundations need to go bye-bye. I used to do Amway and would sell a lot of artistry products. So I had a lot of their makeup and I no longer do that. So these just all need to go because they are very, very much expired. Really great foundations, really beautiful foundations. I just don't have a need for them anymore. Same with these ones. These are their Ideal Radiance Illuminating CC Cream. I loved these so much, but yeah, definitely expired. It's always a little bit of a sting when you have to throw out so much makeup that has hardly been touched. This L'Oreal Infallible foundation stick I tried buying as like a contour stick. It didn't really work out for me, so I'm gonna throw that out. Glue stick, I used it on Halloween looks when you need to glue down someone's brows, so that could stay. I mentioned this earlier, but this is the LA Girl 
Pro, what is this? The Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment. This is really great for when you need to mix this into other foundations to lighten stuff up. Especially if you're a makeup artist, this is really great to have in your kit. So like I was saying earlier, these L'Oreal Infallible foundations, they need to go. As you can see, they've kind of been like sitting on the side a little bit just because I've never used them. I just never found the need for them. I don't know why. I think when I first became a makeup artist, I panicked and just felt the need to buy everything. And so I bought a bunch of full size stuff and then just never used them. And as a makeup artist, you have to be so, so careful that you're not putting expired or old product on people because if they break out because you're not using up-to-date products, that is a no-go. These Maybelline Fit Me's, I think they're still all right. I didn't buy them too long ago. I don't use them a whole lot because I use my cream foundation palette, but these are still, I think, good. So put them back here. So this is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I haven't personally used these. I had a friend that gave them to me because they didn't need them anymore and they'd never used them. They were just the wrong color. So I was like, sure, I'll add them to my kit, but I really just haven't used them. I forget sometimes when I have extra product like this because I'm so used to using my foundation palette. It's just a habit to grab that first, but these are good. This Pacifica foundation, it is the A Light Clean. This was a really nice foundation. It's super light on me, um, so I would not use it anymore, but I feel like this was a pretty nice foundation. It's a clean foundation, so if you're wanting to try and use more clean products. This is the Maybelline Dream Radiant liquid foundation. I don't really remember if I liked this one or not. It was so long ago. I knew this was all the rage for a little bit, but yeah, if I can't remember how it performs, then I'm definitely gonna throw this out because that just means it's been a while. And then these ones, these little tubes were foundation that I just depotted and put it into these little like squeeze tubes, as you guys can see for my kit. It just makes it easier, more slim and compact so I can fit more stuff in my kit. So these are just different cover girl, LA girl foundations um, of just different shades that I will put in my kit from time to time. And these are still good. So we'll leave them in there. Okay. I need to go put a new battery in my camera and my like leg is starting to fall asleep because I've been sitting on it. All right, here is my kit. Let me just show you what's in it really quickly. And I'm obviously not gonna be getting rid of like any of this stuff. So, all right, things in my kit. Anastasia Lip Palette. This stuff is great. You can customize different colors. It's really nice to have and it also saves room. Otherwise you're gonna be carrying a lot of single lipsticks around, which I still do, but that cuts down a lot of shades too. Lorac Contour Palette. I love this. I recently purchased it. I shared it with you guys in my makeup haul earlier this month and it's been great so far and it's it's so tiny and compact. It's great. Blush palette. This is the Rouge Romance Blush Palette from Jaclyn Cosmetics in Rouge Affair. This is more for cool toned and it works great for a lot of my clients. I also have some warm toned um, blushes too. Okay, foundation palette from RCMA. I raved about this in my makeup haul. This is what it looks like. Tons and tons of foundations. It is, oh, I love this stuff so much. It's been a lifesaver for just like, so many different things. This is a Morphe eyeshadow palette and I found this at TJ Maxx one day. If you guys are like a new makeup artist or you just wanna find makeup, like good makeup that you're not wanting to pay like full price for, go check out TJ Maxx. They have a lot of good makeup there that's high end that's been discontinued from stores. And a lot of it's like a steal. Sometimes you can find some pretty good stuff. So I found this Morphe palette and it's got all these really cute I'm sorry if you guys hear background noise. They have like a tractor back there with a, like a backhoe or something like that. Hopefully the background noise isn't too bad. This foundation, or not this foundation palette, this eyeshadow palette, it's just like pretty mauve pinks and it's so gorgeous. I feel like it's hard to find an eyeshadow palette that has these mauve tones in them. I feel like it's either like super cool tones or warm tones and it's just hard to find that like blushed toned palette. So this is really nice to have and it's tiny, which is always great. This is another Morphe eyeshadow palette. This is the Morphe and Madison Beer collab palette, which I like a lot. I don't use this one as much, but I do love to use this shade right here as like an eyeshadow topper because it's got a little bit of glitz to it. It's really pretty. 
my Tati Beauty eyeshadow palette. I know this one is probably coming to a close where I need to get rid of it, but I don't want to because it's so pretty and I love it so much. And I am so sad that she decided to close down Tati Beauty and is no longer making makeup. Hopefully again in the future because dude, she came out with like a bomb formula. Like this palette, oh, it's, it's so good. It is so good. I use the glitter a lot for clients, which is why I primarily like bring it with me. The glitter is really great and I don't need a glitter glue, which a lot of glitters you do. And the shimmers are really great. It's just a really good palette and I don't want to part ways with it. My highlighter, this is from Anastasia. This is the glow kit, sun dipped glow kit. Really great highlighting palette. And I sometimes will use this as like a shimmer shade two on the lid. Really pretty. Bare Necessities palette from ColourPop. I use this thing almost every single time I have a client. It's just really a great palette all around. I primarily will use this shade right here as well as this one for like a transition shade. And then I'll use some of the brown ones down there. I like to use this shimmer shade a lot on the lid. Sometimes I'll use this one as well. It's just a really great um, nude neutral palette, I would say. And then of course, I cannot go anywhere without my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I had to buy a new one a little bit ago just because my other one was getting so old. And this will probably be my forever go-to palette as a makeup artist. It's just got everything you need. I will say I feel like it's got more predominantly warm tones to it than neutral. There's not really a whole lot of cool tones in here, but these four like shades right here are really great transition shades. And there's two of them that have more of a red undertone, two of them that have more of like a warm yellowish orange undertone. So depending on my client's skin tone is how I will gravitate towards which transition shade I will use. Because sometimes if somebody's like super fair and has more of like a pinky undertone or cool undertone, I'm not gonna use the orange on them because it's just gonna look weird. I'll use more of the red tone or I'll go in with the Bare Necessities palette use those transition shades and then I'll go back in because there's really great browns in this shade too, or in this palette. And then this shade, the shade Obsessed, you guys can see it right there. I use it on so many clients. It's just really beautiful across the board. So I put all my, my all my concealers, they weren't in the doors because they're in here, but I pretty much use LA Girl Pro concealers. These concealers are great. They're so cheap and they just, they work great. I think they're amazing. So for eyebrow pencil, I use the NYX. This is the micro brow pencil. This is a really great dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz because honestly, you guys, it just works. I have shifted away from feeling the need to buy expensive stuff all the time or feeling insecure because I might have some drugstore things in my kit and I'm more so now like, I'm gonna use what works not what has a fancy name on it because I, when I first started out, I'd get so insecure when I was trying to build my kit. I used a lot of drugstore stuff because that's all I could afford. And I was like, nobody's gonna wanna come and get their makeup done by me if I'm not using like Dior or Charlotte Tilbury, which those are amazing brands, but it's like, I couldn't afford that. I still can't afford that all the time. Like I'm not balling over here, but I've learned to invest in what I need to invest in. Like my foundation, it's not cheap. I have also used more affordable things because they work just as well. And it's like, I'm working smarter, not harder. Mascaras, I just, honestly use the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. I think it works. And honestly, I'm only using this pretty much to coat the lashes so that I can put a lash on my clients. You don't need a fancy expensive lash when you're just gonna put a fake lash on top of it. It makes no sense. So L'Oreal works great. So for lipsticks, like I said, I use a mixture of like the Anastasia lip palette. I will also use MAC lipsticks. MAC has just, eh, they have really great lipsticks. So this one, for instance, is in the shade Yash. I use it on a lot of my clients. I need to go in a new one because this one's almost done, but it's a really pretty nude shade. I'll kind of put like right on the center. The Morphe lip liners have become quickly some of my favorite lip liners because they're not only affordable, but they're creamy and they just have the greatest undertones to them. The three that I'm using right now, this is Sweet Tea. It's in a really pretty brown shade, Backseat Love, and Honeymoon. If you guys wanna see the swatches of a couple of these, you can go watch my makeup haul. I swatched them when I was unboxing them. Really, really beautiful lip liners. And then when I'm not using these ones, I will use the NYX lip liners as well. I predominantly like to use pencil lip liners because that way I can use a pencil sharpener 
and sharpen off like the whole first layer, sanitize it. And that's just the most hygienic way to have a lip liner. And then I just have like a bunch of random lipsticks like this uh, liquid lipstick from L'Oreal. This is in the shade I Create. From what I've heard, this is a spot on dupe for the Pillow Talk lipstick. I don't know because I've never used Pillow Talk, but I feel the need to because everybody raves about it. And then other lipsticks that I will use is uh, Revlon lipsticks are actually really nice in case you haven't used them before. I use the shade 755 Bare It All on a lot of my clients. If they like more of a pinky nude undertone, this is like, you guys, this nude I don't know if you guys can really tell because this lighting is bad and I'm not gonna swatch it on my hand. Go look it up. This is a beautiful like pinky undertone nude lipstick. And then if you want more of a brown undertone, the shade Nude Fury 756 from Revlon is really great as well. Morphe setting spray. I love it. I mainly love it because of how it comes out of the bottle. This is pretty much empty. I need to put a new one in there, but I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's super, super fine mist. I used to use the um, MAC Fix Plus. Love that stuff, but they need to they need to fix their spritzer because the MAC one, it, like it's nice and it's fine, but then you'll sometimes get some like globs on your face and then it's like if you get these big droplets, it can ruin the makeup. Also the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray is really great too. As far as like skincare goes, I need to restock on it. I just ran out, but this First Aid Facial Radiance, First Aid Beauty, I think is where this is from, Facial Radiance pads. I really love this to exfoliate my client's skin before I go in with anything else. Really great product. This is just like their smaller travel size. They have a larger one. I just wanted to try this one first and also it just fits in my kit better, but I think I'll be repurchasing this because I really like them. And then after I go and exfoliate their skin, I will go in with this Waletta Skin Food. This is in their light formulation. I have raved about this all across my channel. This is amazing, amazing. If you guys follow Harush, she's a makeup artist. She has makeup on the Kardashians and whatnot. She also talks about using a really great night cream and sometimes that works better than a moisturizer because it helps lock in moisture, it plumps the skin up and it really locks onto foundation. So using a really great night cream is kind of like a special uh, tip if you're a makeup artist. Next thing in my kit that I will be keeping is the Ordinary Face Oil. This is the Rose Hip Seed Oil. I recently started incorporating this in with my cream foundations to manipulate the product. Another trick that I learned from Harush is she uses the RCMA cream foundation and she recommended adding an oil or an essence to the cream product. It not only like changes the texture of it, but it really spreads it out. It changes the, opa the, opac the opaqueness, is that the right word? I don't know, but it really makes the cream foundation a lot more pliable onto the skin you can spread it out a lot more without losing its like coverage. And so I started using just like a regular oil. I mix it in with the foundation on the back of my hand or on a mixing palette. And it has totally changed the game for how I apply foundation onto my clients. It also helps it look not as cakey too, which is so, so important. Okay, a couple more things. I feel like this video is gonna be so long. I'm not intending it to be. I also feel like it's gonna be super boring too. <laughs> My translucent loose powder, this is from Morphe. It's just translucent, I can use it on all skin types, which is really great. Another bronzer that I use is Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. One of my favorite blushes is this Milani Luminoso Baked Blush. This has been around for like all eternity, you guys. And if you haven't tried it, you should, because it's a really beautiful, like peachy blush and it's got a little bit of sheen to it. So like I have one of these for myself that I use a lot and I'll mix it with another blush. And because it's got a sheen to it, it gives my cheeks a nice glow. So on days that I don't feel like wearing highlighter, I just pop that on and my skin looks highlighted. Eye primers, I use the MAC Paint Pots. Is, it, is that what they're called, the Paint Pots? So I have Soft Ochre, Lay in Low, and I think Painterly. Yeah, so these are just different shades. If you can't afford to get these though, you can honestly use a concealer and it's fine. That's what I used to use before I bought these, but I really do like these. And I noticed that the shadow just like applies a little bit differently. It comes on more pigmented because you have that nice base over your lid. And that's pretty much it. I have a couple like eyeshadow toppers from L'Oreal that I'm gonna be keeping. I have a, oh, this is really great to have too. This is a color correcting palette. I have it in a liquid form in the concealer version as well. And then I also have cream too. MAC makes a really nice one as well. Oh, so much makeup. So much makeup I'm throwing away. This is sad. 
especially because we're going to be moving next year. I need to start decluttering a lot of stuff in our house and getting rid of a lot of makeup that I'm not going to be using is really important that I need to do. It'll just make the moving process a lot easier. I am going to sanitize my stuff for my makeup kit and then we'll do a time lapse. My hair is falling out. We'll do a time lapse of me kind of putting everything back in there, organizing it, and then I will show you guys everything once it's done. Okay, you guys, so I just finished organizing everything. I just have a couple eyeshadow palettes up here. I need to, okay, hello, I need to clean this, but I have a couple eyeshadow palettes up here that didn't fit in my drawers, but here we just have skincare, setting spray, eyelashes will go here, but I need to restock on my eyelashes and face pads as well. But I have like a bunch of setting spray that they're all three pretty much empty. So I just need to like use them all up. Put my skincare in there. Down here we have the palettes and lips as well. So I have all of my lipsticks laid out, lip pencils, glosses, um, little like lip moisturizer. And then I have all, let me see if I can pull this out. It's kind of top heavy, but all of my palettes just sitting in here. That way they're just more compact and easier to access. Cause usually I would just have them like stacked up here, but I don't feel like that looks very clean and organized. Down here, I have my concealers are all in this little basket. All of my eye products down in here, like my mascaras, eyebrow pencils, eyeliners, eyelash glue. And then here I have all of the eye primers. I have eyeshadow toppers, glitter toppers, my face powders and whatnot, bronzers. And then everything else is honestly pretty much empty because I got rid of so much stuff. So that is pretty much it, you guys. I like have no makeup now. I literally just have the makeup for my kit and that is it. And I honestly don't wear a whole lot of makeup for myself anymore. So there wasn't really a whole lot to get rid of, but I really just need to throw away all of that makeup down there now. So I'm just gonna throw it in the trash bag and just toss it um, cause it just needs to go. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video while I decluttered my makeup, organized it and literally got rid of everything. So anyways, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.